Hi there, it's Chris Murray coming to you again with another weekly success tip. And this week, I want to talk to you about something called trust. I recently heard a mentor of mine named Perry Belcher, who's a million dollar um, business mentor in all sorts of niches, talk about the fact that today, it's never been harder in history than right now to develop trust and get a sale from a new customer. This is the hardest time in history to gain the trust of a new customer and get somebody to do business with you for the first time. Why is that? It's because in today's society, there are unprecedented levels of mistrust. And a lot of that has to do with social media and technology that is pervasive in our lives. It's a lot of it due to people behaving badly what I call the Miley Cyrus effect. Um, people are just extremely mistrustful of one another because if you do something um, that I don't like, I can immediately go and spread that whole situation on social media. And so of course, we're not gonna trust one another uh, nearly as much as we would have say in the 1950s, but even five or 10 years ago. So with that said, it's important for you to look at your marketing and your enrollment processes and everything in your preschool or child care center and figure out where are the elements of trust perhaps broken or being stretched with existing parents. How's your communication with existing parents? Do they feel fully vested and trustworthy in you? Do they feel 100% like they know what's going on with their child? Or is there some kind of a mistrust in the back of their mind going on? Okay, so this is a really important topic, guys, especially for early childhood businesses, because there's nothing more important than being able to have trust when you drop off your toddler every morning. Okay, so uh, your homework assignment from this um, idea is to look at the different levels of um, different parts of your program and identify where trust could be heightened and improved and where it may be broken or being stretched. Some ideas for how to improve trust in, from the very beginning are to make sure that your lobby is the best that it can look, that your curb appeal is excellent, and consider maybe having um, a flat panel TV or screen in your lobby, I've talked about this before on these videos, where you have a, a, um, revolving pictures or video of what's going on in your program that week. How does that impact trust? Well, for a new uh, visitor who comes in off the street to, to do a walkthrough tour, they will be immediately impressed with all of the goodness that's happening in your program and they can watch it on the screen. So it's, it's a very charming uh, and it's using tech, today's technology to engage new prospects in your program. And with current customers, it's like a, it's an, it's a um, constant reminder of all of the fun stuff that's going on in the program. So the more that you can have those multimedia um, elements to communicate, that's just another level of communication. It's visual communication in the lobby, right? Uh, and there's lots of other little things that you can do. Um, two weeks ago, uh, two videos ago, I talked about writing a book. How does that improve trust? Because you as the owner or director are now an authority. You're now an author of a book or a pamphlet or a guide, a consumer guide. And so you've improved your level of trust and expertise to your audience. So they're going to trust you more. So there's lots of little things that you can do to improve trust and you need to work on this as a long-term strategy if you want to get and stay full in today's uh, crazy world and the way that we communicate uh, about each other online. And uh, it's, it's, a tough, it's a tough time to do business, but uh, we're here to help you and give you these strategies. So take that homework and work on your levels of trust and diagnose that for your center and make a, a plan for 2014 to improve your trust-based marketing, okay? This has been Chris Murray with childcare-marketing.com with another weekly success strategy. 
and we'll talk to you next time.